Hey guys, this is Tony Smith with Denison Yachting. Today I'm on board a 2020 Carver uh, 52. This is a new listing by Chad Robertson uh, here in uh, Fort Lauderdale Beach at the Bahia Mar uh, Marina. Chad is actually a firefighter here on the beach and one of our yacht brokers uh, agreed to let me uh, take you guys through this boat real quick. Super nice boat, so let me flip the camera around and uh, we'll show you some really uh, interesting facts and features about this boat. Okay, so we're gonna start the tour out here on the uh, cockpit area of the boat. What you're gonna see, you got some really nice uh, director's chairs, beautiful table here. Note this table does fold up, so you can fold the table like that. You've got uh, space for uh, hand hold and drink holders. And then um, some really nice uh, materials here, nice sunbrella. So the boat, name of the boat is Seven, and uh, really, really neat setup here. So up top here, you're gonna see uh, the uh, backup camera, and then that whole section there uh, retracts back to form a sunshade. You do have your shore power one and two, and then you've got some really nice compartments here. Um, these actually have the control for the platform. So this is a high-low platform, and then you'll see you've got access to the uh, cable masters to uh, put your cable uh, in and out. Um, over here on the uh, port side, you'll see you have an opposing uh, utility area here and this actually has a fresh water wash down and is uh, input for your shore water and has a little uh, shower area there so really nice we're going to go ahead and step on the dock for a second and show you the side profile of this now one thing that stands out me to me uh, immediately is this is a modern carver design so as we walk along here you'll look and see we really have you know we definitely have a planing hull but this is a nice displacement hull See how it carries this uh, whole distance the whole way forward? When we're inside, you're gonna see the VIP cabin is absolutely huge. And this is a lot of the reason why. Now you do have the planing surface down there below and you'll definitely break waves and other things, but the majority of the time you're gonna be planing up and above. And so in a modern boat, uh, what we're seeing is by carrying that um, beam and depth the whole way to the bow, uh, we do get a lot of interior volume there. So this boat, it's a uh, convertible as well. So it's a hard top convertible. And again, on the swim platform here, if you do want to put a uh, tender or jet ski, you can put that on some dinghy chalks and raise that high and low. Now this boat has under 50 hours. I believe it has about 38 hours on it already. One owner boat. The current owner is selling it. Um, he's actually uh, loved it so much, he's gonna go to a bigger model. Um, and he has a bigger family, they're using it a ton, so they're gonna go ahead and uh, make more use of that. So here you're gonna see nice, uh, we got some cold storage there. We've got a, a, a grill, outdoor electric grill here. You've got access to your shower, sorry, to your sink there. And then over on the port side, got some nice JL audio speakers, and then we do have a ice maker there. So really nice. One interesting thing on this boat, when I open the doors up, they slide together. So. A lot of times you get a slide one door and the other, these are linked together uh, to slide out and they give you access to your aft galley here. So this is a really, really neat feature. So we've got some cold storage there, we've got some wine storage, your uh, microwave <coughs> is there. And then we've got a cooktop surface here and uh, we got a dual basin uh, sink, plenty of storage, plenty of refrigeration throughout this whole area here. On the starboard side, this is where you've got uh, your isotherm fridges. So you've got a large fridge up top here, and you, you've got uh, two drawers. So you've got the fridge on the outside, as well as your top loading uh, cold storage there. So that's really nice. Here you'll see you've got a large, uh, large TV. And so from your main salon, you'll be able to see that. So again, these windows open up just wonderfully. There's shades that pull down the whole way but then you'll see just forward of your aft galley, you've got your main salon area. Now, obviously this is a bright and beautiful area. And the reason why is it's a convertible. So hard top convertible, this whole area is air conditioned and we can uh, close that very, very easily, but you'll see just a massive amount of light here. So it's really makes for a great uh, day cruiser 
or a boat that you can spend overnight on if you want. Um, here at the helm, you'll see you've got the preferred uh, Garmin uh, multifunction displays as well as a Cummins uh, engine display. This has twin uh, 600 horsepower turbocharged diesel engines. And these are set up with a um, V-Drive configuration. V-Drive gives you a couple advantages uh, that you get a good angle on the propellers. It does have the bow and stern thrusters so you can drive the boat sideways, as well as it's got a uh, Dockmate uh, remote controller. So you can run this boat by the joystick there, or you can actually take the Dockmate and drive the boat you know, from the side of the boat. So really, really neat setup, definitely like it. Um, a lot of people are going back to a configuration like this versus the uh, IPS system. The issue with IPS is a lot of people are grounding those out. When you run aground in an IPS, you just ruin the whole drive. So definitely some advantages to having a V drive. This is a shallow draft boat, only drafts about four feet and four inches. For a 52 foot boat with a great volume, uh, you're gonna see, uh, see why that is. All right, we're gonna take you down to the guest quarters next. So we're gonna come down the uh, companion way here. What you're gonna notice, I've got some really, really nice stainless steel, easy to grab a hold of. And um, I really do like the companion way steps. All right, so we're gonna walk forward into the VIP. So in the VIP, you've got a nice uh, island berth here. That's about a queen size bed, I believe. Really nice, beautiful woodwork, uh, beautiful through hull uh, windows here. And you do have curtains. What I like to see is they have these little snaps here to keep the curtains up while you're underway. So really nice design features, um, just a beautiful boat. Emergency escape hatch up above, and then really, really nice woodwork. Now, since this is the VIP, you do have access to the head directly here. This head doubles as your uh, day head here. So we're gonna go ahead. This is the access from your hallway at the base of the companionway here. Really nice sink there, fully enclosed shower with a little bit of teak and some really, really nice hardware there. This boat shows as if it was new because it basically is new. Like I said, I think about 38 hours on her, uh, really just used locally and uh, the uh, owner is going to a larger version. Okay, so at the base of the companionway, a few other things about this companionway. Check out that stainless steel, just really nice trim work on this boat. They did not skip out on hardware or anything like that. I don't see any unfinished edges. It looks like a very, very nicely uh, put together boat. On the starboard side here, what you'll see is you have uh, another cabin here and they've got this currently set up as a, about a queen size berth. And then there's your hall side window. And then again, you've got a TV there and then plenty of storage. And look at this, you've got a combo uh, washer dryer set up there. Actually, that is a dedicated washer below and uh, dryer up above. So you can actually do a fair amount of laundry here. And with those nice shore hookups for your uh, water, uh, that is a really, really good uh, setup. Okay, I forgot to show you, we're gonna go back into the VIP. You do have another TV here in the VIP. So really great trim on the boat, everything that you need, a lot of functionality and lots of really nice stainless steel upgraded hardware here. What you'll notice in your main salon, this table here is a high-low table and a really nice glossy finish. And then on the sides here, it has opening windows both on port and starboard. And then again, check out this sunroof, just a wonderful open area here that will close quickly when you need it to. A lot of uh, boats, they have a slow close. You'll notice this closes right away. So in Miami, if you're in a situation where you're getting some uh, rain or weather or anything like that, or you just don't want so much sunshine, you can quickly close this area up and you'll see how that seals. A lot of these boats have tops that don't seal so well. This has a fully gasketed system. So you'll see the gasket there. That was a really nice, smooth closing hard top. And then now all of a sudden, let me give you another perspective. Now you've got a fully enclosed air conditioned salon. And then again, all of these windows have shades that come down and the shades all have some keepers on them. So you notice I've got some nice blinds that can retract down so you can keep the uh, sunshine out, really let the air conditioner cool things off. Although the air conditioner is sufficient to cool the boat even uh, when everything's opened up. Okay, so here again is our galley. 
And then uh, cold storage on our starboard side, super sufficient. Here's our aft grill. And then let's check out the master. Really excited to show you guys this. Again, as we come down the master companion way, really great use of space. Here we've got some electronics, some JL audio. There's our TV again. And check out this stainless steel hardware. So really nice grab rails if you have to go up and down while you're underway. Uh, that's not an issue. This boat is equipped with a sea keeper. So it's got a sea keeper gyro, gyro stabilizer in the boat. And what you'll see, since the boat is configured with the uh, V drives, you really have plenty of room here. With the V drive, you're able to push the uh, bulkhead further backwards. And then check out these hull side windows here. Again, we've got uh, screens that come down, but really a ton of area here. Very, very comfortable. Over on the starboard side, you're gonna see when this door closes here, you've got a, lot of, a little seating bench here. And then you also have really nice uh, storage and everything. Looks like the owners have some personal items in there, so we're not gonna open that all up. Again, you've got a vent in the hall side window, both port and starboard. And then over on the port side, you'll notice you've got a little lounge area there, so you can kick back if you wanna relax there. And then also you have this bulkhead TV. Nice size Samsung smart TV. So really a, really an awesome stateroom. And again, plenty of room, full beam master, since we do have those uh, V drives on this boat. Okay, here is the, your uh, main head. And so here you're gonna notice really nice glass enclosure. And check out that little wood bench there. So you can actually chill out in your shower. You've got really nice stainless steel hardware, appliances and everything. And then, um, sorry, stainless steel hardware and everything. Really nice mirror, beautiful sink. And then here's your electric head over on this side. So this boat feels and shows as if it was a new boat. So I really like it. Um, thanks so much to Chad for letting us uh, preview the boat today. I'm gonna put a link down below to the actual listing for this boat. And then we're gonna have one last stop before we wrap things up. I wanna show you guys the engine room so you can see what I mean by the, uh, the V compartment. Uh, before we get to the engine room, I do wanna walk around the side of this boat and just show you, again, here on the starboard side, here's our aft galley. What you're gonna see is on uh, either side, I've got some really nice steps here. So nice, easy access up to the side of the boat. And then check out the nice walkway that I have here. Again, no lack of stainless steel on this boat. I've got uh, rails here to hold on up there as well. My side rail is nice and high. I've got clearly labeled through hauls. And then what I like on this is, look at this. There's no way to slide or slip on this boat. You can hold on and definitely be secure as you're walking around the boat. So again, with this uh, beam and this uh, displacement on this boat, it is a planing boat for sure, but look at the nice area that I get up here on the bow. Really beautiful, carries that all the way through. Beautiful stainless steel anchor there. And uh, you see my uh, controls there for the windlass. Great, huge anchor locker. I really like that. And then there is a fresh water wash down there if you do want to wash off your anchor. Okay, and then we're going to look back at the bow here. What you're going to see is I do have some integrated seating. There's some cup holders there and then really, really nice uh, rooftop there. You'll note it does have the uh, larger radar on it. And then check out how that hard top closes and seals off entirely. So this whole big section here is a convertible, uh, but it really does seal off very nicely. So just wanted to show you the, uh, the bow of the boat and then kind of these exterior walkways. We're gonna jump down into the engine room as our next stop. Uh, here's your director's chairs. I'm gonna move these out of the way. Uh, you do have a couple of ways to access down here, but I'm going to go through. All right, so here is our main access to the engine room. So bear with me one second while I hop down there. Okay, so we're down here in the engine room and you'll see here's our 600 horsepower Cummins motors. Very, very nice access here. Here we've got our uh, Nice through hauls, really easy to uh, check those out. And again, this is essentially a new boat. You've got your fuel water separators on the bulkhead. Notice how nice and clean that fuel is. 
We love to see that. Um, you do have the Sea Keeper system in the back here. So Sea Keeper system in the back. And then we have our generator on the starboard side. So really awesome use of space. And then this is what I mean by the V drives. So you see these motors, they're faced opposing to what you would normally think. So the power takeoff is facing forward, goes into the trans, uh, into the uh, gearbox there. And then you come out with a traditional uh, area. And I can also see based on how this exits, it does have propeller tunnels on it. So with the propeller tunnel, you get a better angle for that propeller as it, uh, as it meets the water. And it's really chomping at cleaner water and uh, gives you a better draft situation. On behalf of myself, Tony Smith with Denison Yachting and Chad Robertson, thank you for checking out the 2020 Carver 52. Uh, again, just a beautiful convertible boat named Seven available here in Fort Lauderdale Beach right at the Bahia Mar Marina. So uh, feel free to contact us. I'm gonna include the uh, information for Chad below as well as myself. So my direct customers contact me. We got Chad's info down there as well as a link to the listing. So thanks again for looking at the boat. Uh, please feel free to like and subscribe. Thank you. For additional information, please email me at ts at denisonyachting.com. Also feel free to text me at 404-805-9819. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below, and be on the lookout for additional videos 